<laughs> Greetings, everyone. Happy birthday to the Sagittarius. Welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It's just great to be here, and I hope you feel the same. So let's jump into it. I do have Country Station playing in the background. So if it's too loud, my bad. But it's pulling some messages here today. And I'm hearing from this, this artist, I don't know country at all, but he's saying, why does this have to be so hard? He's trying his best to hold your heart. This person is running as fast as they can to get up to you, catch up to you. Oh my word, crappy cars, bust it down. What is going on in this channel messages? Again, it's channel messages. It's a large audience. So all of the messages may or may not resonate and that's A-OK. -okay. Feel free to check out any videos on the playlist or go ahead, not the playlist, but upload. Or go ahead and check out some other uh, tarot readers. They're cool too. We have memories and we have new career path. So your person may be on, it could be the same old career, the same old job, but it's different duties or it's a different way of doing things in this career path. Others of you, this person is thinking about you as they upgrade in their career. Maybe you're the reason why. For some of you, this person has memories or this could be all your energy, all right? There's memories of poverty that this person does not want to go back to. So every time they feel like they're lagging or that money starts to go down, that memory of when I didn't have it comes back around and they jump on their horse and they're out here trying to get this bag. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you, for some of you, this may be confirmation. It's time to start that new career. It's time to, it's time to step forward. One step at a time, it's time to make that first step, whatever you're working on and you have like the heebie-jeebies or you're really nervous to put yourself out there. This is confirmation, it's time. It's a new year coming, everything is going, to, going up, prices are going up here. It's time for you to add what is given to you. It's a gift, the Most High gave you that vision, they gave you that skill, that talent. You may have all what you need, but you just have those nerves or anxieties. Know that that's okay to feel that way, but you also have a duty here. I'm hearing that you have a duty to kind of pursue this new career, and you feel it. You feel it kind of rising within you. Tell us more. Crappy cards, what's going on for my viewer? We have pay attention. You guys, my AC is on, so my candles, my light, my the fire is like flickering there. Somebody's super jealous. <laughs> we have pay attention. We have sex, so some of you may be sex workers. <laughs> no judgment. So pay attention. Hmm. I feel for some of you... Uh, sex, you may be sexually frustrated or sex may be some sort of distraction right now. Somebody likes you romantically and we have next level. So this could be someone you work with or someone that's really interested in what you got going on career wise. Somebody said you got the best prices. The radio said you got the best prices or you're the best. So this person likes you romantically. And for some of you, this person wants to hit the next level with you. But career may be an issue or they don't want to disturb you because they're fully aware that you have your career in front of you. They could be craving some sex or it started off as a sex mission. No judgment. Pay attention. Pay attention to this person that likes you romantically. Ooh, I'm hearing that they're really sexually orientated. So this person may use sex or sex is a way for them to kind of connect emotionally. You may need to slow down with this partner. <laughs> you know, oh shit, what was that? Money matters. So money does matter, hey? So you could be like headstrong right now about your pesos, about your shmoneys, you know, and this person may feel like you're all about that bag. You're all about that money. Like, when is it time for us to kind of connect? Sex may be on this person's mind. Sex may be on your mind. Sex is on my mind. You know what I'm talking? <laughs> Pay attention to what exactly? Pay attention to what? Need to be alone. So for some of you, you know, may have your sex cravings or... There's this person that really likes you romantically, but you it's like time for you to kind of 
create that space for yourself it's much needed so maybe you need to unplug for a while or you may be really overdoing it on the sexy part and you need to kind of replenish your energy we have new lifestyles so that seems to be trending on my platform right now a new lifestyle so being that we're at the end you guys i'm sorry my um shit it slipped my mind what the hell that noise is ah uh. <laughs> my compressor my air compressor just went on all right i use it to blow a lot of shit off i'm asthmatic i don't sweep i don't dust i just blow shit out <laughs> carry it outside and blow it out right so it came on for some reason. Anyway, some of you may be in this phase where you want a brand new life. You want to level up and you're paying attention to the things around you. You're very sensitive at this time. So if your body is craving a long time or you just feel it, it's, it's coming on pretty strong. Don't go against it. Do not do an injustice to yourself there. New lifestyle. So some of you are ready to move on to someone new as well. Some of you, sex may be um, very important. Sexual compatibility or what's not. We have great fortune. Lady, look. So some of you are going to have good fortune. Great fortune actually coming through. I'm hearing like blessings are going to be rain on you. The gods favor you. Some of you may be acknowledging or... Yeah, you're acknowledging or celebrating a female deities. We have the number 26 equals 8. Even number is 268. Maybe very significant to you. So great fortune or you're a person that is very blessed or somebody feels like it's very blessed that they met you or run into you or had sex with you. Some of you may be a goddess. Or you're in love with a goddess. <laughs> oh, you know what? I saw this um, this blog talking about most men are not into dating woke woke women. I wonder why. Go ahead, big up on yourself in the comment box below if you want to give your opinion on that. We have poverty. Didn't I say in the last video that someone has a lot of memories? Or is it this one? Someone has like memories about past lives. They, their family could have been in famine or poverty in a past life. And, you know, they always have like this urge to make money. You know, money is never enough. More money is never enough. Right. So I feel like this person or you may have feel bad lucked. But we saw the great fortune. So that is about to change. Some of you black cats or black coated black coated animals are crossing your path so this could be like crows this could be like ravens black cats a raven has a message for you some of you may have came from a really tough childhood and being alone or needing time alone to recharge is very freaking important some of you could have worked from a very early age or you came from parents that work from a very early age it's time. OK, so for some of you, it's time for you to get a new job or a new career. If the one that you're working at is a dead end, the money is not adding up or the paychecks is just not doing it for the amount of work or responsibilities. Tell me something about needs to be alone. OK, so you may need to be alone before you enter this new cycle. Some of you are upgrading, you're ascending. Things are shifting, things are decaying, things are falling away, passing away. This new lifestyle is here for y'all. You're all going to claim it or what? So you may need a time out before you enter this new lifestyle. We have privileged lady. So some of you could be dealing with someone that feels like you're just too much. How could they, how could they ever deal with you? You're so much. You're too much. We have the number 12. Some of you may be seeing 12, 12. You may be born at 12 months, 12 day. Happy birthday. If that's the case, happy belated. Um, privileged lady. 1221 may be very, very significant for you. So someone may be very priv privileged or you're coming into a privilege, privilege part in your life. You may be dealing with someone that likes you romantically and they feel like you're just well polished. Um, you may have uh, a very polished education or your family may be wealthy or you just really work hard for what you have. Some of you, you don't work at all and you just always have money or things are just always set for you. You know, you, th you say something and boom, you get it. 
So some of you may be very protected or you're very closely li linked to an ancient goddess, that type of royalty or that type of, um, yeah, that type of royalty runs really strong in your blood. Or this is just how this person perceives you. It's like, God damn, you look good in anything, right? Talk about it. Let's keep going. The gift. All right. So the gift card comes out twice for today. So some of you are coming into spiritual gifts, waking up two, three in the morning. Um, there's a lot of confirmation coming to you and therefore you're open to it. So you're acknowledging it. You're spotting it. Some of you, this person feels like they have been blessed with you. Some of you I'm hearing, um, God know that I needed you. So for some of you, somebody feels like you're the ultimate package or the ultimate gift. Some of you, this person may have a very passionate gift. Somebody wants to give you a birthday gift. And I feel like, um, oops, my rose is caught on fire. Did you guys see that? <laughs> That's what dry rose petals would do. It will catch on fire. So now I feel like this rosy scent never don't pay to mine and that candle. I've been working with it all day. So yeah, we have the number eight here. We have number 338 maybe significant here. Yeah, I feel like this, this gift that this person wants to give you is a passionate gift or you have a passionate gift here. And it's almost like you're not working towards it. You've been working towards things that you're good at, but it's not things that you like. And I feel like that's about to change. You're, you're about to like shift to things that you want to do. No more thinking from other people, um, opinions or feeling like that's part of your life. Nah. So you may need to be alone to kind of sort out what's your next step, your pace. You're willing to take that in. Let's talk about this new lifestyle. We have pathway, of course. So this is a one year card. The timestamp is one year, or this could have been going, you have, you may have been going through this process for a whole year, 12 months, right? So let me tell you, we have, um, the portal head. This is a portal in the background. We see, um, I'm actually seeing four tree trunks head. So some of you may be going, entering into a light body or you're entering a new portal. This is a gateway of a new lifestyle. There was multiple transformations I'm hearing mentally and spiritually. And now it's like, you're now going to understand how powerful your emotions and your moods are. Pay attention to your moods is what I'm getting on this pathway. Something is crossing your path. Someone that likes you romantically. Didn't I say those black cats or black coated black fur animals is crossing your path right now? We see the black cat here as well. This could be a sign of protection. The cat is protecting you in the spiritual realm as you move as you move forward in your life. So some of you are very lucky or you can't lose. You may be someone that can't lose or somebody feels that way. They can't lose with you. Yeah. Toil and labor, hard work in person, hard work pays. Some of you may be even feeling like it's time to go. It's time to jet out of a, a situation or a job that's not giving you the rewards or the money, the payout that you're looking for. We have 11 at the top, three plus eight, and we have 38. So 38, 38 may be very significant. 38, 38, big up on yourself in the comment box below if you want to kind of do the research and post it for the rest of the platform to kind of get a whiff. Things are happening. Things are moving. Things are transpiring at this dull time for you. So some of you could be in a situation that is just too much damn work. You know, you, you're feeling adventurous right now. Take that adventurous energy and go for it. Let's get one more card. Mature lady or mature woman. So even if you're a guy that's watching, you could be in this very mature energy or you're looking for a mature lady in your life. You know what I'm saying? We have two feminine energies. This could be same sex or it could be, you know, ma uh, male, female situation. But the both of you are working on your feminine energies due to the cosmic uh, placements or planetary um, shifts happening, you know, I'm hearing it's a cosmic phenomenon for a lot of you. So you're shifting into your feminine energy, using your intuition, trust in your guides, let go in with the flow. Hey, see where it gets you. I'm also seeing 612 or 126. That could be a birth date, a time 
overall energy, unexpected income. So uh, I feel like if you have worked in the past and you never got the pay that you deserve, that may be coming to you at this time. Something you have been waiting for a long time is going to now be granted to you. Some of you are a little reserved and again needs to be alone with the mature woman. Maybe you're kind of like pulling back or you're like you're needing to kind of just sit with yourself and that's okay, right? We have 27 or 9, so that's all about the self. Nines are all about the self, so maybe you're just more uh, focused on yourself right now. Even though there's someone that likes you romantically, you could have recently um, been sexual with this person. Or again, sex may be on your mind. Your chi could be really um, intense right now with excitement, adventure, or, you know, there's some, some sort of adventure or trauma here. We have maturity. Wow. So we have mature woman and we have maturity. Some of you may be a vessel for your guides, Write, writing, journaling. Some of you are going through past life regressions where you're starting to see where this drive to always do, do, do is coming from. I'm hearing there's a book or there's an orb. Maybe you have a crystal orb. I feel like a lot of you are getting whispers of ideas. You need to write those things down. They're the voices of your ancestors, hey, or your guides. You have came a long way. Something is already written for you to have. There's wills, hey, there's deeds, there's contracts. So you have a lot of blessings and protection around you. Uh, maybe you're not really alone. So maybe all this time that you spend alone, you're not really alone. This is your time where you get a lot of guidance. Very beautiful. Some of you may be really, really um, involved in the ecosystem. Or you're just really connected to nature. Some of you have a very spiritual gift of wisdom, ancestral wisdom. So you may be very smart, intellectual, book smart, common sense, all of that put together. Some of you, I feel like there was an ancestor or an angelic grandparent, honorable. This, this is someone that loved you and left you a lot. They left you a lot, whether it was money or just guidance or protection. They're very proud of you, person that's watching. The person that you have grown to be, the woman or the young lady you're becoming or the young man, the man that you're becoming. Let's see what the connecting card for this whole combination would be. We have the divine feminine. So some of you are in your divine feminine energy or you're healing your divine feminine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Some of you are in a divine level where, again, you're very receptive. You're open to what life has to offer and, you know, you're pleasantly or gracefully accepting it. Even if you're a guy, some of you men that are watching, you may be going through a situation where you're learning to trust the, your feminine energy and the feminines outside in your life. Maybe you had very strong strict or very needy or um, entitled feminine energy in your life. And that is changing. Some of you are going through a life lesson of understanding what a divine feminine energy. And did I mention before when I said I read an article or there was some sort of blog floating around talking about men are not willing to date woke women. <laughs> Right. Overall energy, distorted masculine. So we have this distorted masculine energy that's floating around. Some of you could have been dis uh, dealing or messing or married, even married to a distorted masculine energy where this person was just all about the trends, all about what society is expecting of them. This person could be into stocks, trades, crypto. This could be someone that's a member of the police department, the justice system, or this is, um, I feel like they had a fear of the, the justice department. Maybe this is someone that's doing things for money that's illegal or they're just playing a dead end game with money. They're not trusting their fem their divine feminine energy. So this could be a very sorry, you guys, that's my big baby drinking his water. 
<laughs> he's thirsty. So some of you could have been dealing with someone that was very thirsty, someone that was very deceptive, or they were very, um, there was a lot of self-sabotaging because of how this person was raised. I feel like a lot of things that they have built are now breaking away, falling away because it was built off on an illusion. I'm also hearing press for time. So this person may have, um, bounded themselves to a, a lifestyle that puts them on their knees it's a lot of fake lights oh, i'm hearing fake masculine uh light hair what is that this person may live in the city or they just like a city life you may have met this person when they were going through a very uh, tough time. I'm also seeing PTSD. This person may be struggling from very dramatic events that happen and still following this person. A lot of war. I don't know if they came from a background of famine, poverty, and violence. The radio said they never met a girl that looked like you. Right. So I don't know. It's like a fallen soldier here. So I don't know if you or this person has been related to people that's in the military or this person feels like they're a fallen soldier or soldier here that's um, on their knees. Something crumbled for this distorted masculine energy. And it's like almost like they're being forced to trust their feminine or their divine feminine. So there's feelings of unworthiness head coming from this divine masculine towards their divine feminine. They feel like their divine feminine is just, what am I going to do with you? You're too much for me. They may have seen you grown to a spoiled brat, to a more sophisticated, mature uh, person. Let's talk about it. Let's get some Zodiac names out here. Okay. So I'm hearing that it's a time... To kind of shift quietly there's a lot of fruits for a lot of you that's um fallen from the tree i'm also hearing the fruits the fruit don't fall from the tree so some of you may inherit some things from your mama your grandmama i'm hearing juicy fruit beware of pirate people i'm hearing beware of pirate people someone may come and tell you something that was repeated from somewhere else no judgment it's just that's who the person is they speak out of turn or they blurt things out Someone may come and tell you what's going on with your distorted masculine. So it could be a karmic masculine or it could be a divine masculine that has distorted feminine energy. We have the eight of cups. We have um, extreme emotional strength to move on here. So this could be this distorted masculine energy. You yourself could be a divine feminine with distorted masculine energy that you're needing confirmation to kind of work on. So maybe you were too focused on your feminine energy and now you have to focus on your distorted masculine energy. It's time to walk away from anything that is not satisfying anymore. So what was what's content and satisfying? It's, it no longer could go. It has reached its emotional capacity and somebody has to gain the emotional strength to, to walk on. Now that card does not talk about an in a, a definite ending it could talk about i needed to go off on my own journey on my own pathway to kind of rebalance or restore my masculine energy before i could return uh to take this um romantic situation to the next level so pay attention what is this pay attention about somebody's crossing a trench hole a trench hey Somebody was afraid to go out there and they are now. Ten of swords. Pay attention to things that cause uh, betrayals here. Things that are sabotaging. I feel like this is a new dawn for someone that was struggling to forgive or struggling to forgive themselves. Some of you, this person may be dying to tell you what's on their mind. They want to pick up the phone and call you. But they may have betrayed you recently or they betrayed you too many times because they have this distorted masculine energy. I'm hearing that they're um, trying to protect themselves. Why are they protecting themselves? 
all right, from clarity. Okay, so your person may be trying to protect themselves by not telling you the truth. I'm also feeling like there is um, healing of the inner child. Somebody's moving beyond a restriction here. And it's because they're they're feeling more alive, more bold. For some of you, this you make this person extremely happy. You make their inner child feel very safe to come out and play or be free. I feel like this person is still very intrigued or interested in you. But with the sun trumping the ten of swords, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. The sun is back out. So this weather could have changed. It became more warm. Uh, where it was dull, cold, and wet. Now it's a little bit more warm. This could be giving someone some solar energy, very masculine energy with the sun. Sun rules Leo. So this could have started in Leo season. You're dealing with a very prideful, arrogant person when they're in their shadow, and this got them defeated enough times with you. It's like their pride and ego. This distorted masculine energy cannot go. It cannot penetrate this divine feminine. This divine feminine becomes very reserved, pulls back um, things that we're sharing here. When this distorted masculine gets too egotistical, some of you are getting a lot of upgrades through the sun rays. So if you have sunlight, get out there in the sun. Something is being cleared here. There's clarity coming. Or this person is now understanding why they were in the Ten of Swords all this time. They're having a lot of clarity on why they were betraying you or stabbing you in the back. And it could be because of this distorted masculine energy. Running after an expectation that society placed on them, their family, pressures of them to, to be, make something of themselves and to have money. So wealth and success was on this distorted masculine's mind. And again, this could be a divine feminine with distorted masculine energy. That's all about money, all about riches, wanting financial security, feeling like that's the only, only thing that could make me happy. And when I don't achieve it, I get in the Ten of Swords where I feel defeated. I feel betrayed. And then when I get in that uh, energy, I look around and see all the people I have stepped on or betrayed for this Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of ancestral energy here with the Ten of Swords. I'm hearing the family tree. Somebody has clarity on a family situation. It could have been a tower moment or a tower moment needed to happen for the situation to come at light. We have the high priestess energy alongside with the lovers and the queen of wands so some of you may be very outgoing you could be very sexy or this person is very sexually attracted to you we have this masculine energy really focused on the feminine here while the feminine is um focused on the most high waiting for the ethers or the most high to give a command or direction for this feminine energy to move. Some of you, this could be a match made in heaven or this person feels that way. They could also feel like this is a higher level soulmate. You were made for me. God knew exactly what I needed and he made you. God knew I needed you. The most high know I needed you, but we have this distorted energy that's blocking you. Some of you, this has stand the test of time. This person could have been really distorted, really confused and lost really caught up in the physical pleasures of life or what society, what was taught to them. They are seeing you for the first time for who you are. The both of you are naked. So the both of you are very vulnerable around each other. Both of you are facing each other, even though whoever is in this divine feminine energy, you're more fixated on what the ether has to say, what your archangels or Orishas have to deliver to you. Yeah, some of you are like a vessel. You're like an oracle. Could be an oracle. Some of you could be getting tarot readings on this person or this person is doing this to you. Somebody's all-knowing, hey? So this person could feel like you're all-knowing. You're like a goddess. You're very spicy or fast. Uh, you're not afraid to be vulnerable. You're not afraid to be confident. Some of you, uh, you have a deep sense of knowing. Some of you may be very connected to the ethers, the cosmos, hey. Some of you could be, um, could have been helping this person through oracles or tarot. There is a black cat. So some of you are very protected. 
and this is give this gives you the confidence to be more of you you're very woke here with the queen of wands and the high priestess some of you this person wants to give it all to you you're very reserved some of you this person could only imagine how sexy you are under your garments high sex appeal some of you could be very passive or you have passive income coming in or you're um, not being truthful or you're being very secretive to this person and they feel like they have lost some sort of security with you here I just feel like you're preserving your chi, you're preserving your sexual energy, and therefore it's making you very powerful. Some of you, this distorted masculine is torn. They know this is very spiritual. Something about money here as well. Somebody's a money magnet here. Some of you may have talked to this person about money, and now it's coming into this person's life. It's like they're waiting for you to help them up or without you in their life, the, you take away the sun. Without your presence, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's damp. It's like, I don't want to go on. I don't want to go on anymore without you. You make this person feel strong and powerful. Tell us more about this unexpected income. Wow, we have the Hierophant, so Taurus energy twice. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. We have Virgo, really strong here with Gemini. And we have Aquarius energy, doesn't have to be. So I feel like there's a deeper commitment or this person wants to form an alliance with you. It's like marrying um, to join alliances or if they know if they have a deeper commitment with you, you guys will be very powerful. <laughs> My cat lady almost fell. So I'm also feeling like both of you are in a very spiritual cycle right now in your life. Some of you, this person is uh, very religious or they have a religious mind or they had a person around them that was very religious. Some of you, this person, um, they kind of pushed against this love that they felt with you because you're more spiritual and free minded or uh, free spirited and they were locked in to things that are uh, laws or rules or um, some sort of, I'm hearing some sort of group, business group or with their family, they just had really tight um, standards with their family. But I feel like this person may be incorporating or you incorporating spiritual and religious practices to gain um, success or wealth hey. Or this is what you do. You kind of, you're a spiritual person, but you know the Bible or you know religion. You know different religions. You're, you're like, um, you know a lot, hey. And it's very, you make it look easy or sexy or fun. You dress really well to this person or the clothes that you put on, you make it look really ex expensive, expensive and day. Six of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like this person may have betrayed you because they didn't give you what you deserve or they felt like they couldn't do it. They, they had other things to give. They may have held, they may have kept you, um, string along for a long time. It's somebody else that were demanding from them while you could have been like really, I wouldn't say begging for their time, but it's like, you kept trying to remind them that you're still hey, like you're still holding on while they were given to other people. And I feel like they kept giving and giving and then they saw what they were given to and they felt defeated. They felt betrayed. And this could be, you know, they're given to people that are very um, greedy. I'm hearing I don't want to laugh for Christmas. Somebody just want to see their baby for Christmas. Hey, so we have 1010. That may be very significant for some of you. We also have 66 six going on here as well. We have angel confirmation 212. If you want to Google that, research it, pay, uh, comment it to the bo uh, comment box, right? So there are changes that's happening. I feel like your person may be shifting or integrating new practices. Could be spiritual here as well. They may have got it from you. 
for some of you, they're still kind of confused or they're trying to build or rebuild something. Hey, or this is what they want to do. Make it up to you for having you wait so long or stringing you along while they give to very entitled people who left them for dead. They may feel like they're now understanding how you felt when they were always given to other things or sac uh, sacrificing this love or being with you. So now I feel like they see you for exactly who you are. The, f the masculine is looking at the feminine, really looking. Uh, but there again is some things that's wedging. There's an obstacle or a mountain here. But I feel like it's stand the test of time. Something about the sun rays is very powerful here. You may have like golden tan sun. Or again, you bring a lot of heat, a lot of solar power to this person. You may have a lot of knowledge. You're very, sedu you're, you're seduce this person from far as well. But I feel like right now, the both of you may be in the middle or trying to gain some sort of balance between uh, society and your own spiritual practice. Both of you may be very wealthy in your own ways. I feel like this person is more uh, tied down with uh, commitments. Hey, it's like they don't question these commands or laws until they met you. You gave them something to like think about. I feel like you're looking towards the future. You're looking towards new life. And this person is, is like they're, they can't stop watching you. And they, they really want to get sexy. <laughs> They want to take your clothes off. You know what I'm saying? They feel like a match made in heaven. I feel like they think about you every time they hit the ground. Every time they fail, every time they are defeated, they think about you. And maybe you're the one that powers them up, makes them feel young again, makes them feel like a kid that could do anything. You do this for them. I feel like you're very empowering as well. And you're very fast. You have your own style or signature and you go for it. And they feel like you know more than you say. And this is why you're quiet right now. Because you may have some sort of channeling for them. If you are a terror reader, they could energetically pick up that you know something is going down. I feel like they want to marry you. But they're married to the game or they're more committed to their family right now. They could also be working on understanding commitments kind of learning or using the wisdom from the past betrayals between the both of you. Cause I feel for some of you, even though they did hurt you and defeated you, you have done the same. You hurt them too. And I feel like you look good too, getting away with it. For, for some of you, there's somebody in their family, could be a sibling, could be a mother, but I feel like this person kind of bullies your person about the fi the family or the fi the finances in the family you know who this is this person may be working charms or spells or they know how to persuade your person like pull the wool over their eyes and you see beyond them you you could see past them you could see what the game is hey but you conceal a lot. You don't speak on what you know. I feel like there's financial security or spiritual security coming. There's a commitment coming unexpectedly. I'm here in a study group. There's a study group here or you're in a study group. But I feel like this person, I'm feeling like condemned or they want forgiveness for what they did. Hey, having you wait so long while they run around, hey, of what expected of them. They try not to go back into the corporate world. So maybe this is a person that tried to uh, create their own business. They try to work with family or they try to bring family in it. But it became a betrayal hey and i feel like now they're looking at you as the ultimate partner someone that they could make a life with because you bring so much blessings to them you had a sense of forgiveness or understanding but i feel like you're much more passive than you were before 
and they can't resist you, they can't stop looking at you, they may have felt like you were very dominating in the beginning and they put like a, a wall between the both of you because maybe you're too bold or maybe you have masculine energy. Maybe you have a distorted masculine energy where if you feel like things are not being done fast enough, you pick up and, and you get it done or you, you make the first move, you initiate first and this kind of put this person back like now I feel like they're always waiting for you to do something and you're not you're like uh -uh, I'm not getting up off of this throne I know too much or I'm well aware of a lot I'm a well aware of my distorted masculine energy or I'm, I'm well aware of what distorted masculine energy is this person feels like you know something but you're not telling them you have all the secrets you know a lot about ancestry you know a lot about about you know a lot about healing karma ancestral karma here and they just know about what their religion taught them or what their family tradition taught them i'm also seeing this black and white checkerboard thing i have it here on my nail i've been seeing it a lot this black and white checkerboard i see it in a racing um birthday display I keep seeing this black and white checkerboard thing. So again, between the black and the white or the light and the shadow, you sit there. So you're very balanced, but you still need to work on your distorted masculine energy or that's what you have been working on after you have felt betrayed by giving too much to a person that was given to someone else. So that could be children. Uh, it could be their family. It could be all the wrong things that they were doing that left them uh, for dead or left them feeling defeated like a failure so the both of you are in this learning cycle where you're taking the wisdom some of you are taking religious practices of the word of the most high and you're implementing it in your practices some of you may be very powerful people in your own worlds because this this hierophant is sitting between the two pillars i'm feeling like the both of you have purpose or the both of you are aware that you're each other's, um, part of each other's purpose. I feel like this person wants to collaborate or they want you with them. This person likes you romantically. All right. Sex is involved or this, this person wants to have sex with you. They want to join that energy together. The both of you are very wise. You're learning from different powers. You're understanding higher powers here. You're understanding how laws, rules, purpose works. Some of you, this person is learning to forgive themselves. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. And if you did, big up on yourself in the comment box below. We have 666 may be very important for some of you here as well. Yes, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, big up on yourself in the comment box. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have unsubscribed and subscribe back, it's good to have you back as well. So yeah, see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.